All right, problem number 25 of section 2.9 asks us to prove the identity written on the board here that cosine of the inverse tangent of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared. Uh, now, if you read earlier in the book uh, uh, the proof of the identity that the cosine of the inverse sine of x is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared, and you try the same technique on this problem, you'll find out pretty quickly that it's not going to work. The, Inverse tangent behaves quite a bit differently than the inverse sine, and we're not allowed to. Use, we can't use the same ident or use identities in the same way. So we're going to have to come up with a little bit different strategy here. What I'm going to start out doing is look at. Uh, I'm going to call theta now inverse tangent of x. All right. Now notice that if I take uh, tangent of theta. That's the tangent of the inverse tangent of x, which will just be x. So we're going to start off with this equation here and then just expand it a little bit. So we have x is equal to tangent of theta, but tangent of theta is the same as sine of theta over cosine of theta. Now if we rearrange this a little bit more, we get x cosine theta equals sine theta. Now the identity that I'd like to be able to use here would be sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. Now we need some squares in here. So if I just take the square of both sides, we get x squared times cosine squared of theta is equal to sine squared of theta. And you can see that even though I have sine squared and cosine squared in here, this is quite a bit different than what we actually need. If I move the sine over to the other side, we're going to have cosine squared minus sine squared of theta, not cosine squared plus sine squared of theta. And this x also might mess some things up. But if I just add cosine squared of theta to both sides, on the right hand side, um, we'll see that the inequality, or the, the equality will actually be just be equal to 1. So I'll do just that, add cosine squared of theta to both sides. Now we can see that, you know, like, as I said, the right hand side is just equal to 1. And if we simplify the left hand side a little bit, we see that x squared plus 1 times cosine squared of theta is equal to 1. Now we can just solve this for cosine squared of theta. Now cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. Now if we take the square root of both sides, we get cosine of theta is equal to 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. And now we see that this is indeed our desired identity because theta is just equal to the inverse tangent, uh, inverse tangent of x. So we see that the cosine of the inverse tangent of x is in fact equal to 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared.